And here we are joined for the second Women's Super League game of the night. We have a blockbuster game of Rocky M. Cambio Cumbre versus South Perth Lions. For Cambio and Cumbre, we've got number nine, Ellis Glenfield. Number num number 99, Latoya Crotty. Number 16, Tia Dunn. Number 18, Isabel Wainwright. And number eight, Charlie Wainwright. For South Perth Lions, we've got number 99, Gabby Del Busco, number three, Tiana Botha, number four, Jessica Johnson, number 11, Beatrice Wan, number eight, Abby Meekins, number 22, Camille Harrell, number six, Nami Matsushita, number 93, Serena Lin, number 10, Momoko Sakiri, which I believe is a new signing, and Manani Aral, number 17, which I believe is also a new signing for South Perth Alliance. Of course, coming in late into the season, but exciting things to see for the future. Of course... South Perth are definitely the favourites in this contest, but Cumbre won't give up that easy as we have a big bench for South Perth Alliance and a relatively small one for Cumbre. But sometimes that can work against you. So we'll have to see how this game will progress. There's the starting lineup for South Perth Alliance. We have Tiana Botha, Abby Meekins, Cam Harrell, and number 10, Beatrice Wan, as well as Del Busco in goals. For Cumbre, of course, we have the five starting, both Wainwrights, Dunn, Glenfield, and Crotty. Should be an exciting game. Wainwright to Glenfield. Out wide to Dunn, who gets dispossessed by Botha. Botha driving down the line, of course, the dangerous player for... Of course... Tanner Botha will be the dangerous player to watch. Ball with Botha. Hits Meekins, but getting dispossessed. Glanis on the counter attack as Juan dispossesses, and Wainwright showing some nice footwork. Skipping past and trying to possess back, but Dunn can't go on the end of that one. With Botha at the side. Now with Harrell. Hitting a nice topo cross court, but Juan went for a check and couldn't get back onto the end of that one. Cumbre, of course, will be very happy to see the timer click down as they have a small bench today. Wainwright to Glenfield. Nice ball, but can't get on the end of it. Done to Wainwright. Ball to Wainwright. Tries to hit the ball back to Dunn and just can't get on the end of it. Both is now driving. Shows nice physicality. Leaves it off for Harrell as Dunn shows nice physicality to win it back. And Wainwright trying to show some footwork to get through. Dunn can't get on the end of that one. Botha. Hits Meekins. Hits the ball across, but Glenfield dispossesses as Botha collects. And Glanfield showing some nice defensive work, kicking that one out. Harrell restarting from the side. Harrell hitting the ball down the line to Botha, but Botha can't keep that one in. This is now it's a Latoya boy, ball. Latoya going long. Hits Wainwright. Wainwright was a nice touch, but letting herself a little bit down as she passes it to her sister Wainwright. And V1 just cutting the passing angle as now they look to attack. And... Botha showing some nice footwork. Hits it back to Meekins. Meekins got plenty of space and toe pokes and a good save there from Latoya. Ball with Harrell. Scoops it to the back post, but Wainwright now on the counter attack and disputes it, trying to give it back to Wainwright. And can't get that one as Glenfield's now driving. Botha just kicking it out. Ball with Dunn. Dunn distributing to Wainwright. Now the ball backward done. Gives it back to Wainwright. Ball forward to Wainwright and just can't finish on that one. But it's a good opportunity for Cumbre. It's the type of opportunities they need to capitalise on. They're going to be sparing in this game. Cumbre instructions earlier are to drop, drop short to try and condense the space. Of course, the press would be almost suicidal with the amount of players they have on the, the bench. Meekins. Now with one. 
Tries to hit the ball to Bothers. Now to carry attacking opportunity for Cumbre. Two and two and Wainwright can't connect to Wainwright or the goal in that circumstance. One now, while with both the trunk signs forward, can get dispersed by Isabella Wainwright. Del Busco, of course, very good with the distribution, but cut out by Dunn. It was destined for Cam Harrell. Harrell standing over the ball now with Botha. Hits Meekins, but now Wainwright's on the counter and showing nice footwork. Tries to dispute to Dunn and now to counter attack for South Perth Lions. Two on one. Can Botha finish and Good defensive tracking there from both Wainwrights. <laughs> Cumbria got to be careful in those transitions. Don't get caught out. Boffer hits the head of Dunn as it spills out to Harrell. And Harrell looking to play that back post pass and cut it by Wainwright. One hitting to Harrell. Hitting nice ball to Boffer. Pressure on from Wainwright as... Three sets to Meekins. Ball with Botha. Ball down the line to Meekins as she gets it to the back post, but Harrell is not there. Apologizes to her teammate. Ball with Glennis as she skips past Beatrice Wan. Does very well there and just shoots well to Wainwright. It's one on one now with Del Busco. Can she finish? Just can't hit. The target there is Del Busco does a beautiful save and Cumbre definitely getting the chances they need to do and being lucky not to score at least one of these out of the two. Good set piece opportunity from Cambio Cumbre and South Perth have got to be careful not to be hit on the counter. Of course they're very comfortable holding the ball, no subs so far. Well, my apologies, first sub for South Perth Alliance as number six, Masuchita, checks on. Of course, it's been great to see this Japanese influence come into the women's game. Botha hitting Masuchita. Back out wide to Harawa. She flicks it forward for Botha, but Latoya collects. Latoya disputing to Dunn. Hits a ball, tries to hit the ball down the line to Wainwright and dispossessed by Meekins. Dunn, of course, very happy to walk the ball over. Hits the ball to Wainwright. Wainwright turning well and now a one-on-one with Harold, but quickly the wall of blue is returning. Boffer checking off for Jessica Johnson. With Del Busco, now Master Sita. Takes on a play, a nice one-two to Meekins and Cumbria aren't tracking well as Harrell scores an early goal for South Perth Alliance. See there how not following your players can really get caught out and Wainwright just gets caught ball watching as Harrell sneaks to the back post and finishes in net against Latoy. Cumbria need to be careful here. If starts getting out of control, they're definitely potentially be out of this game as Wainwright gets almost dispossessed as she gives it to Glanisfield. Glanisfield. So Glynis, I should say, is now Meekins looking to uh, show some skill, but Glanfield showing some nice footwork and skipping past her. Done. Trying to hit the ball to target, but we see the first minutes for number 10, Sakurari, as she sizes up Dunn. Dunn trying to open up onto her left foot, and Sakurari had it covered. The corner opportunity. See the fatigue already hitting a bit of on Cumbre as seem to take their breath. Ball two done as she <laughs> tries to sneak it to the back post and double deflection off Meekins and then Del Bosco. Ball with Wainwright as she dummies it for Glenfield who defeats it too. Done. Done. Showing nice forward, glides it off for Glenfield, but Glenfield can't go on the end of that one and that was deemed as a foul.
Timeout card coming in for Nessa Fonseca. Galbusco shooting a nice ball through and Meekin's almost on the end of it. Dunn playing down line to Glanfield. Sips pass. Sakarias that's deemed as a foul. Cumbre, free kick. Stun stands over the top of it. Timeout for Cambio Cumbre. We'll join you after this quick ad break. WA has social futsal competitions five nights a week, Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. And welcome back to the second live streamed game of the evening. We'll see what Cumbre have cooked up for the set pieces. First time play comes inside. Goes for the shot, but great si save by Del Busco. She chips it down the line for Sakarigi. Wainwright did well to track back and make sure nothing came of it. Just a call against Wainwright. Didn't have the whole ball on the line. Out to Sakarigi. Plays to target and Matashuka. Still playing. Goes for the shot, but Meekins just fluffed her lines a little bit there and couldn't find the right connection on the ball. Good one, two here. By Kumbre, but has a shot. Doesn't come of anything. Easily saved by the goalkeeper. Call there against Wayne Ride on Meekins. A bit too much physicality for the referee's liking. Gabriel Del Busco in possession. Plays it out to Johnston. Just not on the same wavelength there as, as Matoshika. Goes long but well intercepted here by Meekins. Drives inside, plays wide, goes for the cutback but well covered. Well saved there by Crotty as she wins South Perth a corner. Nice flick inside there, but Wainwright does well to defend as it brought inside. Good build up play there by South Perth. Playing it around the Cumbrae defence and played to target, but just couldn't find the back of the net. Crotty goes long. Wainwright's in behind, but Johnson does well. Make sure nothing else comes of that opportunity. Wide to Meekins. Inside to Matoshika. Beautiful ball down the line to Johnson. Goes for the shot, but exceptionally cleared off the line there by Dunn. As we see, Boffa check back in. Comes inside for the shot. Takes it, but just couldn't find the right connection on the ball. In to out instead of out to in. Pretty. 
Along to Glanfield. Dispossessed. Well pressed there by Sakarigi and goes for the shot, but just narrowly wide. Crotty back in possession. Always looking for that target long. And won themselves a side kick for the efforts. It's a crossed. Wainwright comes inside. Well defended by Boffer. Press now coming from South Perth. We'll see how Cumbre deals with it. Buffer in possession into 3v2. If they can use it right. Sakarigi tries to cut across Wainwright, but Wainwright really well defended to make sure nothing came of that opportunity. Well, beautiful turn there by Glanfield. Goes for the shot, but well saved there by Del Busco. That was an exceptional turn and got the shot off, but well saved corner here. Goes for the hit. Got a lot behind that, but just couldn't guide it on target. As we see Johnson check out for as we see Johnson check out for Harrell. Harrell comes in inside, but unfortunately Wan just couldn't find the, the turn as now Wainwright still in possession. Plays to his sister. Takes down the line. Keeps possession, does well. Clanfield trying to find Dunn, but unfortunate in that instance. Harrell goes long to try and find Botha, but couldn't find her. Crotty plays wide. Wainwright down the line. Couldn't find Dunn on the end of that pass. Back to Botha. Not rushing on the ball. Invites the... Comes inside. Good footwork there, but well saved by Crotty. Chips down to Meekins, who goes for the volley. Caught out Wainwright. Caught out Wainwright, but just couldn't find the finish as Crotty goes long. Botha retrieves the possession. South Perth. Regain possession. They've been dominant this first half, but no real scoreboard pressure as of yet. Only 1-0, and Cumbre have had their chances. Botha. Wide to Wan. Sorry, Ari. Meekins. Out to Ari. Wainwright does well, keeps it in play, still in possession, comes across to his sister Wainwright, goes back to Crotty. That was good play there by Cumbre, and they were out for a second. They slow down the ball, but Dunn plays to Wainwright. They've had a very solid performance this first half. Cumbre, to note, they do have no substitutions today. First top of the ladder, South Perth, it's always a hard feat. Good footwork there by Wainwright, but Dunn just wasn't aware to find the pass down the line. Wide to Botha. Inside, but Ari just couldn't find the first touch to play it to a teammate. Both a good physicality there to make sure that Glanfield didn't get on the end of that pass. As now they regain possession. They'd love to get one more goal before this half is seen out. But Cumbre aren't giving up. They're 
Fighting strong. Done. A bit unfortunate to not to get past. Not get past. And now they regain possession. Comes inside. Winfield goes to the shot, but brilliantly saved by Rossin. Glanfield at the edge of the D. Dabusco is still on the ground. And all she had to do was get it on target, but just couldn't find the back of the net. Cumbrae, they've been very, very solid this first half. Worked hard defensively. They've had chances. Botha gets past one. Dunn, however, comes across to cover. Tiana has a boot off and she wants to put her boot back on, but referee says play ahead. Good work, work, good effort there to work back by Wan. Two minutes, 14 seconds left to play as we're on the edge of stop clock territory. Done, just a bit unfortunate there, just. Ball was off the line and South Perth regained the ball. Meekins. Down to Ari. Brings it inside, goes for the fake shot, but Wanfield doesn't let her get past. And at 49 left, you'd say Conrad would take a only a 1-0 deficit, but here we have they squared, but couldn't find the finish. Botha squares it again, and a will. It trickles in at the back post. Lynn, it, it was that got the finish. She missed it the first opportunity. But Botha mopped up and found her, and she couldn't miss two in a row. That gives South Perth a 2 0 advantage. But Cumbra have been good. They can't let it slip now, can't let them get one more before half time. Get them to stay in this contest. That's a sensational ball down the line. Here's a chance for Wayne Ryden. There's the finish. Cumbre answers straight away. They halved the deficit. I believe it was. We'll see on the replay. Sensational ball down the line. Wayne Wright finds the bottom left hand corner bottom right hand corner. It was done that flicked it down to her. Sorry, Glanfield that got the assist there. Botha. Well intercepted there by Wainwright and Cumbre have a found some energy from somewhere and they're wanting to go into half time with more than just a deficit. Meekins. Back in possession. Goes wide to Botha. Good first touch inside. Waits for a play to come and she goes to the shot, but Crotty had that one covered. As we see Coach Roberto Boy call the timeout, put in the timeout sheet. And it is as it is in South Perth Corner, we'll have a timeout. We'll be, be, be back with you just after this ad break. Yeah, so that's really straight by Brody. 
Welcome back and just listened into the South Perth team talking. There it is. The response from Meekins, a well worked set piece. Cumbra had it covered initially, but it bounced back. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, Cumbra did well to defend the initial ball to the middle, but Meekins, Meekins did well to get the finish from Boffer. Good set piece that, says referee Jonathan Silas. Meekins lays it off to Botha. Glanfield did well to poach the ball off Johnson. She took the shot, but Johnson had worked, worked really hard to get back and make sure that that opportunity came to nothing. As now we have a 3v2 opportunity. Will Meekins take it? It was going out of play, but Crotty just got the last touch and South Perth have won themselves a, a corner. Meekins, Boffer, takes on Glanfield. Out wide to Lynn, to Johnson. And they win a side kick, 10 seconds remaining. Just try and get a shot off here. Good turn there. Goes for the shot, but Lynn wasn't far away at all. Just wide. Two seconds remaining. Cumbre have been valiant this first half. They see themselves down 3-1. We'll be back with you just after this break. And we're joined back for the second half of this Rockingham Cumbre versus South Perth Lions game. Don't let the scoreline deceive you. Cumbre, as they're doing a little team chant, have had plenty of opportunities to equalise the scoreline. They've uh, had, I believe, three one-on-ones with the keeper and just only able to score one of them. So it could have been a 3-3 scoreline at the moment. We'll have to see how this game progresses as Tiana Botha takes the players down the line, showing her class and running out of space and appealing for a foul but not going to convince the referees of that one. Ball to Wainwright. Just seeing out of real estate. Machita restarting to Botha. Hits a ball heavy to Machita and the ball goes out. Little toy. Toya Crotty distributing to Dunn. 
Now with Wainwright. Tries to hit Dunn and Cumbre ball on the side. Dunn. Now with Glanfield. Now with Dunn. Nice, nice ball to Wainwright. Wainwright trying to play the reverse ball, but dispossessed by B1 as now Botha is driving. Shoots and finds B1 at the back post. And just can't get the back wrong, so I just trying to find out who took that shot. A beautiful back heel, but just out of, just wide of the target. Done. Hitting a nice ball to Wainwright. Wainwright again trying to play the reverse ball, but getting punished as now it's Botha on the break, but Dunn does extremely well to defend there. Dunn's been extremely important for the Cumbria defence. Ball out wide. Massachusetts are trying to find the ball through. Zachary showing some nice hold-up play. Hits Massachusetts, who does a back roll, and Botha just doing the foul on Wainwright. Ball with Dunn. Dunn going down the line to Glanfield, who shows nice footwork and holds off Botha. B1 now driving. Now with Dunn. Botha cutting it out. This is Wainwright does a nice reverse pass. Glanfield playing the ball through, but finds the head of B1. Is now Massachusetts driving and skips past one, but Latoya Crotty spreading well and able to collect that ball easily as she hits Wainwright at target. Zachariah putting on some nice physicality as well as Botha. Very intense game. The side here is now Cumbre recover back after their short burst of a press. Ball with Botha. Botha now driving through the middle. Hits Zachariah and tries to play it around herself but can't get there as Latoya throws it over for a break but can't get onto Wainwright's run. Ball with Botha. Now with oh, ball through, but it was about to hit done, but she dummied it. Side ball for Cambio Cumbre. Crotty playing a nice long ball, but the touch was a little too harsh and spilled right into the path of B1 as now the ball bobbles back to Botha. Botha hitting B1 and opening up. Mashita out wide. Find that ball 2-1. Now with Botha. Now with Matricita. Finds ball through to try to find Sakurai and just can't get on the end of that one. Deemed, deemed as a keeper's ball. Crotty going along trying to find Dunn, but can't get on the end of that one. As Matricita, uh, sorry, B1 shows some nice footwork and turns. Wainwright, as Wainwright shows nice physicality, as her sister Wainwright clears it. Ball with Botha. Hits back to Del Bosco. Del Bosco driving, very good with her feet. Fits a nice pass to Botha, front foot, who's able to take Dunn, but shot toe poke just into the hands of Crotty. Now Glanfield is on the counter-attack. Tries to find Wainwright, and she does, and a good sliding challenge there from B1. Corner opportunity for Cambio Cumbre. Could have been another goal there for Cumbre if they were a little more decisive in front of the goals. Done. Shoots, and Sakurai heading it to Botho, who now back to Sakurai. Sakurai now driving as she puts on a little bit of a physical show, but... One is cut out by Botha. Now Wainwright is driving. Ball with Dunn. Out wide to Wainwright. It takes a heavy touch and shoots and wide. Rolling foul against South Pepper Lions. That is two fouls for South Pepper Lions as Abby Meekins drops in for South Pepper Lions. Ball back with Botha, as always, trying to dictate the play. Now wide with Meekins. Tries to find the ball through to Matricita, but Glennis, Glenfield, sorry, cuts it out and just gets dispossessed. As now, 
Mashita is unmarked at the moment, but Cumbre do well to recover. <laughs> Makins tries to find the ball through, and Sakurai does well to get a toe on, and Latoya with the save. Now Glenford is driving, she's beat them all, gives it to the back post, but Wainwright just can't get on the end of that one, and she commits fully for it, and could have been another attacking opportunity for Cumbre that open ends with the Del Bosco ball. Could very easily been 3-2. Boffa finding a beautiful ball to Meekins across court and bringing herself a side ball for it. Ball with Meekins. Good block by Mashita as it ends up with Boffa. Back to Meekins. Nice screening run and Meekins Sakurai now with Boffa. Boffa opens up with the right boot and Crotty just saves. Ball with Glenfield. Finds a nice first ball, but can't find the run of Wainwright. All players for Cumbre putting in some big minutes here. See the fatigue starting to cost him a little bit in the decision making, but could have very easily been a 3 3 score line, so we'll see if they have anything to answer for it. Johnson. Checking on for South Africa Lions. Manchester City finding a ball through, and now it's with Wainwright. Wainwright trying to go through herself and can't find a sister, but does well to win it back. Can she shoot? Shoots, and Ryan the hands up, Del Busco. Meekins. Johnson tries to restart to Meekins. Ball over the top to Johnson, and Crotty just seeing it out. Ball with Crotty going long. It's Glenfield. Glenfield trying to hit it over Meekins, but Wainwright collects from the spilt pass. Glenfield showing some nice footworks, trying to skip past two and taking some time to recover on the floor. Ball with Wainwright. Glenfield showing his nice physicality. Done doing a nice screen run as he hits Wainwright. Wainwright driving and shooting, but well wide. Ball with Del Bosco, Johnson. Now with Ashita, who spits a wide to Meekins. Meekins throwing a back post ball and just dispossessed by Wainwright, but it spills back out to Sakurai. Back with Meekins, back to Sakurai. Nice ball to the middle of Ashita and nice one-two link up there between the Japanese players and good toe poke shot, but Crotty just saves it. Ball with Machita, and that was deemed off the line by referees. Be a Cumbre ball with 11 minutes left on the clock. If they want to get back to this game, they'll have to score one soon. The counter attacks have been good, they just got to finish in the back of the net. Done to Crotty. Crotty back to Dunn, who clears it, but into the way of Glenfield, who gets dispossessed. Now it's Meekins on the break. Still got Crotty to beat, though, and Sakurai. And good block there from Dunn. Back post and cut out by Wainwright, who now Glenfield is driving. Drives the ball through, and Johnson just picks it out of the air as Meekins resets to Del Busco. Of course, Del Busco beautiful with her feet. Johnson. Shot, and that was a beautiful strike and a good save there from Crotty. Really see the fatigue. Costin Kumbre here with three players just hands in there. He's trying to recover as much air as they can as Meekins takes the shot. Ball with Matrasita. Nice ball through to Johnson. She's going to take an opportunity and hits it to the back. Well, sorry, to her target, Sakurai, and Matsushita shoots and just over the top as a timeout card is submitted by Coach Nesta Fonseca. We will join you after this quick ad break. Yeah, but I'm 
NWA has social futsal competitions five nights a week at Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. Come back 3 1 on the score line as Cumbre. We just listened into their, we just listened into their team talking. They want to full press and see what they can get out of this game. Obviously, they've got no substitutions, so it's going to be it's going to be tough for them. But so far, it's been a valiant effort. They've obviously had lots of opportunities, but so have South Perth. Meekins. Back to Meekins inside, to Botha. Back to Meekins. Inside to Botha. Comes inside. Good physicality there by Wainwright to win possession. No foul called as Buffer cuts it back and that was Meekins at the back post. A few giggles on the court, obviously just couldn't find the finish. Done to Wainwright, goes for the dummy but Glanfield couldn't get in front of her defender as she's in possession here, well defended by Ari. Meekins to Johnson, to Botha. Beautiful one and two touch foot source. Botha with a brilliant finish. South Perth cut open the Cumbrae defense in that instance and let's watch the replay. Johnson plays it wide to Botha and Botha in that position on the court, she's never gonna Miss those chances as it's 4-1 with eight minutes left to play. Cumbrae have, they have been a very, very good tonight, but obviously it's always difficult coming up against the South Perth Alliance ladies, especially having no subs on the bench. Wainwright getting pressed well here by Ari. Still getting done and... I think Wainwright just gave her a bit of a shove and South Perth. See, Roberto Boy put in the time. Out card and we'll see what South Perth can cook up from this set piece. Will we be back just after this break? Meekins, back from the timeout. We'll see what South Perth can conjure up here. We saw in the first half, just after their timeout, it was very lethal. Meekins, Johnston with the dummy out to Botha, but Cumbre were alert to it this time and 
Dunn goes for the pressure on Buffer, Buffer, but she resets to Delbusco. Well read there by Glanfield. She goes for the chip on Delbusco, but maybe just should have gone for the the finish. Johnson to Buffer, Meekins. Wide to Johnson. Good pressure there by Wainwright. Just to make sure Johnson can get her first touch correct. Down the line. To Glanfield. She's won herself a side kick in for her efforts. Wainwright to her sister. Brings it inside. Out to Dunn. First time finish Glanfield. Just couldn't find the first touch. Dal Bus Busco to Johnson. Brings it up to halfway. Cumbre sitting deep. Meekins. Wide to Ari. Ari tried to find Botha, but just a bit too much on that pass. Glanfield inside to Wainwright. This is good play here from Cumbre and she was through. Referee Gabriel Malaco had to think about that challenge and in the end he gives it as a free kick. That was good play there by That was good play there by Cumbre. Good one twos and they found them themselves in front of goal but I thought it was a clean tackle but referee Gabriel called it as a free kick right in front of right in front of the edge of the D with the shot and De Rossi sounds strong and they come inside Wanfield Thinks it's a foul, nothing called. Referee says play on. Meekins plays it down. Crossy wasn't sure and this will be a goal by Botha. Wainwright was tracking back well but Botha got her boot to the ball. Crossy was just in two minds whether to come out and to clear that ball and that moment of hesitation got South Perth to win that 50-50 ball. And they take a 5-1 lead. Solid performance tonight by... Solid performance tonight by the South Perth ladies. We hear Buffer... Buffer having a little bit of an argument with Silas, the referee. Johnson inside to Buffer. Botha inside to Ari, try to find Botha, but she hadn't made that run, but she still retains possession. And here's an opportunity for Cumbre. Glanfield takes it one way. Couldn't find the finish and the ball was out of play. Well done there by Del Busco to make sure Glanfield didn't get past her. Ari made that inside run. Couldn't find the finish. Wainwright. Wide to Wainwright. But they lose possession. In with Ari. Johnson back to Ari. Three minutes remaining. So we edge closer to stop clock territory. Wainwright back in possession. Now to her sister. Brings it inside. South Perth having a press. And it results in them regaining possession with Dalbusco in goals.
Sakairi in possession. Goes to Johnson. Tried to find the run of Sakairi, but just a bit too much on the on the pass. Wainwright resetting to Wainwright. Johnson with excellent pressure there, and she wins the ball back. She takes it down the line. And she wins herself a side kick for her efforts. Johnson. Back to Wan. Sakiri has the shot, and excellent, excellent save there by Crotty. Thought for sure that was going to go on the back of the net, but Crotty just got a hand to it. Wainwright does well to read the corner in possession. Tries to switch to her sister, but intercepted. And Wan with a shot to reach the back of the net, but just wide. But it was deflected, and they've won themselves a corner. Good pressure here by Glanfield. She's had a solid game and won themselves a sidekick. Wasted chance there from the girls in red. Del Busco switches to Sakairi. Goes for the switch. Try to find Matuisha, but Crotty read that well. Beautiful ball down the line, but well intercepted there by Johnson. Now South Perth are through if they can take this opportunity, but Wanfield with a great interception. Now it releases Glanfield. She looked for the runner of Wainwright, but these Cumbre ladies have worked hard all game. <laughs> they haven't gotten this result today, but that a few more subs, it would have been perhaps a closer game. Johnson, well read by Wainwright, and here's an opportunity. It's a 3v2 if they can use it correctly. Still in possession, Wainwright resets to his sister, goes for the hit. Couple deflections there and South Perth clear their lines. It goes line long to Johnson. Wins herself a side kick with 40 seconds left on the clock. 5-1 the score. Don't forget to join us for the rest of the night as we have some enthralling encounters. Next up we've got WA Eagles versus Scarborough Sharks. Then we have Sterling Brother Jinga versus the Coburn Wolves, which is a do or die matchup. Then after that, we've got South Perth Alliance against Rockingham Cumbio Cumbre. And then to end the night, a big game for the Northern Hawks as they take up the West Coast Cobras. Hawks have dropped down to fifth place after last night's result to, after last night's results with foot scarves beating Andino 7-2. Northern Hawks with only this game left and next week. It's going to be tight to see who can make the top four, but thank you for joining us for this game. In the end, it's South Perth Alliance 5, Rockingham Cumbio Cumbre 1. We'll see you for the next one.